Today, we are diving into the world of MacBook Pros, but specifically, we are going to talk about why buying a 2015 MacBook Pro in 2024 might not be the best decision. Now, don't get me wrong, the 2015 MacBook Pro was an absolute powerhouse when it first hit the shelves. It had a sleek design, a fantastic display, and a performance that was top-notch at the time. However, in today's fast-paced tech world, it's starting to show its age, and here's why. Firstly, let's talk about the performance. The 2015 MacBook Pro is equipped with older processors and graphics card compared to newer models available today. The likes of M1, M2, and M3 Apple Silicon chips which are an absolute killer when it comes to what a chip can offer in a machine. This means it might struggle with demanding tasks like video editing, graphics design, or even just running multiple applications simultaneously. If you're someone who relies on their laptop for heavy duty work, you might find yourself frustrated with the slower speeds and decreased efficiency of the 2015 MacBook Pro today in 2024. Another important factor to consider is software support. As technology advances, so do software requirements. While the 2015 MacBook Pro can still run the latest macOS version as of now through OpenCore Legacy Patcher, the official macOS support for this machine was macOS Monterey, which is two generations old. Today we have macOS Ventura and macOS Sonoma, which is the more recent one. This means you might miss out on new features, security updates, and compatibility with the latest application down the line. Additionally, let's not forget about connectivity. The 2015 MacBook Pro lacks Thunderbolt 3 ports, which have become the standard for high-speed data transfer and connecting external devices. With Thunderbolt 3, you can take advantage of faster data transfer rates, connect to multiple 4K displays, and even power external GPUs for enhanced graphics performance. Without these ports, you are stuck with slower transfer speeds and limited connectivity options, which is a real, real big bummer, especially today. So, to sum it up, while the 2015 MacBook Pro was a fantastic laptop in its prime, it's starting to show its age in 2024. With slower performance, limited software support, and outdated connectivity options, it might not be the best investment for those looking for a reliable and future-proof machine. If you are in the market for a MacBook Pro, it's worth considering one of the newer models with updated hardware and features to ensure you get the most out of your investment. The M1 MacBook Pro released in 2020 can be a very good investment since I see that machine being supported for a very, very, very long time and it comes with the Apple Silicon chip which is crazy fast compared to Intel-based MacBooks. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech related topics if you have any questions regarding the 2015 macbook pro please leave a comment down in the comment section and i will do all i can to reply to all the queries raised in the comment section thanks for watching again and i will see you in the next one